O eternal God, we come before this altar of the Holy Grail to celebrate thy presence and the presence of the mighty archangels here on earth as in heaven. We are grateful that you have opened the heavens and released this light whereby we might partake on earth in the holy communion of the saints, of the body and blood of Christ, and partake as well in the very ministrations of all legions of light, worlds without end. O oh, Father, Mother, God, hear our call in this hour. Send thy legions of light to the farthest corners of the earth and the entire physical universe for the rescue of all souls. Saint Michael the Archangel, thou hast been with us from the beginning and unto the fulfillment of our mission. We greet thee in joy in gratitude. We are grateful to know thy name, to speak thy name, to call unto thee and thy legions and the blessed being faith. We are grateful in this hour of cycles turning in the earth that we might gather in this land of freedom, sustained and ordained by God, protected in the heart of liberty. O oh God, we are grateful for the blessings of life and all that thou dost give us day by day. Come into our temple in this hour. Celebrate the holy mass of angels on the altar of being. Let us know thee as thou art, O oh God. Let us know ourselves, our true self and the not self. Help us, O God, to attain victory in this life. We thank thee, and we accept it done this hour in full power. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother. Amen.
Hail, keepers of the flame of life on earth. I, Michael, come to you in these twin cities. I come with legions of light, and we do not expect to leave you or these cities as we have found you tonight. We come then in the hour of the Divine Mother. We come therefore that you might know the Divine Mother. Do you know that millions suffer in the earth out of loneliness because they do not know the Divine Mother? O oh, beloved hearts, when the soul has not been truly nurtured here on earth, and the soul does not remember the heavenly nurturing, then it is difficult for the soul to embrace God, to embrace God as mother or father, and to enter the path. Therefore we come to nurture, we come to unveil, therefore, to your inner sight, the beautiful image of the divine Madonna, who does care for you, does caress you, and in her presence you know no loneliness at all. Be seated then in the warmth of the Cosmic Virgin, even the Mother Omega, for blessed hearts, the one true God is the Father Mother God. So we who are the angels who enter the battles and defend life we come in her name. We go forth from the altar of the great central sun, having received her benediction. So no, beloved, this is the hour to increase and tend the flame in your own heart of the mother. I counsel you to use the rosaries that the blessed queen of angels has given to the messenger for you. For this sense of mothering all life, whether you be male or female, and the sense of being mothered is what is most needed in this hour. In the security of the arms of the Divine Mother, we can go forth. We can take on the enemy. We can charge into the darkness of the fallen ones across the galaxies. For we are secure in that flame, that maternal flame of eternal life. Let your heart then open to be the chalice of the mother. For all avatars who have gone before you have become the incarnation of the word. And the word who was with God in the beginning with Brahman is the divine mother. Therefore, know the tenderness, the compassion, the warmth, and the teaching of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Though they be masculine in spirit, and perhaps even in gender in their final embodiments, these have sought and found and passed through the initiations of Lord Maitreya, the initiations of the Divine Mother. The very mastery of the sacred fire does come forth out of the raising up of the mother light in your temple. How may I speak through the messenger except the messenger's light of mother is raised up and a mother's heart is open to me and her and therefore you may feel the ultimate love of God and all of the legions of angels who descend from the throne of grace. This my scepter this day is known to you as the scepter of the Lord Christ. I come as shepherd in his name. I come as shepherd to guard the sheep 
from the wolves and from all that would come and defile and dethrone you from that place of oneness centered in the heart. I come shepherding the millions of light bearers across the galaxies and legions of light join me and we see those of you who have ties to others that are across the centuries, across the heavens, and far remote from here. The universes are vast. All of cosmos is still the chalice of the mind of God, and the mind of God is held in the chalice of the Divine Mother. Learn your lessons well. Learn the lessons of the great teachers of the ages. Learn the lessons of the path. Do not forget the lessons learned from mistakes, costly mistakes, costly to you and to us. Do not neglect studying and restudying, for in the day and the hour of your victory, when you must come forth with only one answer, the right answer, you must know the law and the ancient scriptures, and some of these you will find only in our retreats in the heaven world, for they have been removed from the libraries of the world by rebel angels who would not tolerate your knowing the fullness of the Godhead dwelling in you bodily, knowing that this is your lawful right as a son and daughter of God. Well, we will tell you in this hour that we have launched many a star from among Earth's evolutions who began once in a lowly place, in a humble place, and did make his way, her way, up the golden stairway, up that spiral staircase, winding up the pole of being, mastering each of the chakras on the way, being filled with light. And after all of this is through, beloved, what? I will tell you what. It is love in your heart, love of the Divine Mother, that is merciful, that is just, that is kind. It is love that will win the day and see that that love is ensconced in the tomes of the law, the law of the will of God and the law of wisdom's might. Yes, beloved, without love, nothing is possible to you. With love, all things are possible to you. Love, then, is that which would heal all the cracks, all the cracks in the structure of being. Only love can put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Only love can reassemble the elements of your own psyche, that you might look in the mirror and see not the cracked image, but wholeness once again. Love is the medium of wholeness, Love is the light of the star of Venus. Love is the light of the grandest sphere of your causal body. So increase it, so know that it is an hour to consider the ultimate prayer of forgiveness. Truly, it is an hour to let go. It is an hour to forgive the worst enemy and the best friend. It is an hour to bring to one's pillar of fire in the center in the midst of the temple of being, all that must pass for transmutation. Why do I say it is an hour? Because the hours are timed and the cosmic clock bears witness. And as the days and hours move on, you will need, you will require, beloved, Truly the gift of forgiveness as never before. Forgiveness shall liberate you. It shall separate you from those with whom you ought to have no further part. Yes, beloved, forgiveness is a letting go. It is a blessing of all life. It is a letting God enter in and guide you each step of the way. The straight path is the straight and narrow way but you have yet treacherous paths of your own karma that you must walk. And because it is your karma, some of you must walk alone for a time. 
I bid you hasten return to the straight and narrow way of your original convictions in God, truly the path of the initiate. You deserve to be the initiate, and yet what is lacking? Have you had an oversight? Is it an oversight that you have yet lingering in the folds of your garments, perhaps an anger that flashes forth? perhaps a pride that can be tempted yet, perhaps a rebellion that you have not silenced. Yes, beloved, all these things may you see as I place before you the starry night and the stars of the Milky Way as points. Imagine as though they would be causal bodies of light, each and every point and star and system causal bodies of sons and daughters of God who reign in the heavens and do not allow to trespass there those who follow the way of the angry generation. Come back to the path. Come back and know, as you have been told a number of times, it is a moment, a moment of opportunity for resolution within. Go for that resolution, beloved, for if you are unresolved, when the ultimate war or the ultimate enemy descends upon you, how shall you meet it? You must be whole. The Divine Mother comes to assist you to become whole. The messenger comes to assist you. Angels come, adoring ones who worship the light of God in the heart of all whom God has made. Yes, beloved, it is a vast and starry universe. The night is midnight blue, but the stars are shining. I would like to say that I can count each and every one of you as one of those stars, but some of you have chosen not to launch your star just yet, preferring rather to carry on in this dimension as though there were no tomorrow, as though there were no prophecies, as though karma should not descend and the nature kingdom respond. All these things shall come to pass unless the great intercessor of the Divine Mother, acting and working and moving and praying through you, establishing the inner discipline within your heart that might enable you to stand, to still stand, to have the power of the word of God vested in you that you might say to the mountain, Be thou removed. O oh, mountain of human karma, O oh, mountain of karma of humankind, be thou removed and cast into the sacred fire this night. I, Michael, declare it. I, Michael, send forth the fiat. So let the violet fire come forth. I also multiply that flame of the seventh ray by my causal body. So I say what you must one day say. O oh, mountain of human adversity, perversity, consciousness, be gone, be thou removed and cast into the sacred fire, for I know that I am a son, a daughter of God, and I walk the homeward path. You shall no longer stand in my way, for I am in the heart of Michael Archangel, and Michael Archangel is in the heart of me. Therefore I pronounce the word of the Lord Christ. If thou hast the faith, the faith as of a grain of the mustard seed, Thou shalt speak to the mountain, the mountain shall be removed. Remember I have taught you, remember I have told you, that if you do not think you can move mountains that assail the planet and the children and the people, call to us, we the Cosmic Seven, 
We come, we conquer, and we obey the command of the universal Christ. And in so far as that universal Christ does dwell in you, then we say to the force of Antichrist dwelling in you, be bound this day, be bound, you dweller on the threshold, be bound, you not self, for we come authorized by the Christ of your being to seize and bind, therefore, that force which remains in opposition to that Christ. Abroad in the earth this day, there are many who will have nothing whatsoever to do with angels or with God. Well, I tell you something, God and we have something to do with them and something to say to them. And we shall surely say it in the hour appointed by the Son of God and by the Holy Spirit. We shall say, let them be bound, O God, yet for a little while until the children and the servants of God should receive their reward and should now grow in grace and in strength and in the confidence of their authority in the presence of the angels. Sin not, compromise not yourself, and see how you may walk with us and talk with us and even be empowered by us when you pass your tests in our retreats. There are many things that are subject to change in this hour, many, I say. Where you see a problem in the earth, Send forth the ray of light and the call. Remember the call to the holy Kumaras, to Sanat Kumara, to send the legions who await your command. Remember this mighty gift. Remember the mighty action and the mighty gift, beloved. Send the legions of light to do the bidding of the Lord Christ. And we shall, and we shall not fail, and day by day you will see the mitigation of certain conditions in the earth. Others, beloved, are sorely entrenched, sorely entrenched. For these you must invoke the Elohim Astraya. You must invoke the mighty Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. You must invoke even the ruby ray. There is a decree and a fiat and a call and a sacred ritual for every possible situation. Therefore, come and learn what is the antidote for each specific situation you face in life. God is a wondrous God. God dwells amongst and in his people. God is in the earth unrecognized. God is indeed everywhere. Yet God is personified in the Atman within you. So you see, beloved, there is no time and space. There is no distance. Heaven is here on earth, for you have wooed heaven to this place by your love and songs, by your prayers, decrees, and listening ear inclined to the teachings of the archangels. It takes but the prayer of a little child to draw us to the earth. We will not leave one of these little ones. How shall we not leave you? We shall not leave you who have been steadfast in the cause of light for many lifetimes and in many embodiments. We shall not leave you, beloved, especially if you do not leave off giving your calls to the light. Now, beloved, I speak to you of the seriousness of the hour as others have spoken to you of the children, the blessed children, and the children who must have the true and correct instruction that they might grow up to know that God lives within them, that they might have their skills down pat and therefore enter institutions of higher learning, the arts of commerce and the arts, government and law, every area of human life and be there the presence of the living Christ. What will you do to rescue them from a consciousness that is permeating the land as a stench? 
This consciousness is the consciousness of fallen angels who move against the youth of the world to defile their minds and hearts and souls and to take from them the light that is in them. O oh, beloved hearts of living fire, be still now, still yourself, be still. Still your physical body, for I bring you the light that is the antidote. I bring you the light that is the antidote for all of these problems. But mark you well, there must be a continuity of the path of light in the earth. Therefore, pray for the youth, ere you yourself move on to other octaves and find that an entire generation is ultimately unprepared to take up the cause of light in the earth. So it is true. So it goes back to the resolution within you of the living flame of the Divine Mother. The presence of the mother in the earth is a necessity. I say to you, go and mother all life free. My angels stand before you now, so desirous to transfer to you that strengthening of the sword of blue flame, that action of the sacred fire whereby you can leave the stamp upon this civilization of the higher calling of the Lord. Outsmart the fallen ones who have come as pied pipers to lead away the children into the darkness of death and hell through their foul music and other sounds. Yes, beloved, receive my angels now. Receive them who stand before you. For they impart an inner knowing, an inner plan, the art of love, and a design for victory. These go into the heart of hearts of yourself under the careful keeping of your Holy Christ Self. And as you prepare and plan and meet and determine what shall be done, as you take counsel together and counsel with the angels and the ascended masters, so know that by and by you shall also be enlightened and empowered within and without to pursue this course, to make things right, to right the lives of millions, because you have discovered the key whereby you may contact them and bring them back to the golden sphere of light. That golden sphere of light was part of a monument on Atlantis. All who embodied on Atlantis, and this includes most of those in North America today and many from all parts of the world, all remember the golden sphere of light as a landmark and as something extraordinary, not of technology, but almost as the presence of the light of the Son of God. Think upon that golden sphere of light and go back to it, for it is a point of reference and by that point of reference, you can access also your own higher mind and your momentums of achievement and of success in dealing with such conditions as you face today regarding the youth of the world. So, beloved, this is, after all, your world. It is your time and space. It is your one day with the Lord on the stage of life. I say make the most of it, for only you can be seen, touched, felt. You are the ones who can love and caress. You are the ones who can care. I, Michael, charge one and all with prayers for the protection of this and every nation, for its government and people, for a leadership ill-equipped, 
to guide the destinies of nations in this decade unto the next. We already have our work cut out for us, beloved, for we know that unless we are there and invoked, the leadership will not be able to deliver with the crises that shall yet come upon the earth. So know that we have appeared to many that in that hour when the people recognize that their leadership is incompetent, that their leadership will once again fail them for simply not having the vision or the light or the ability to deal with the great darkness. So the people will turn in confidence to the angels of light and hosts of the Lord, who even in those hours will become more visible that mankind might retain hope. Hope, then, is the sign of the year and the hour. Hope thou in him, your Lord and Savior. Hope thou in your God presence and holy angels, and be at peace. I am Michael. Remember, I am the mountain mover. I move mountains with you. Call to me and see what mountain we together shall remove each day. Let's do it, beloved, now. We are ready. Angels are ready. Now they touch the crown and the point of the brow, and you are sealed. Thus I take my leave for many crises. Call me hither and yon. Yet when you call, wherever I am, I flash forth the ray that you might have that immediate reassurance that I am Michael, Prince of the Archangels, servant of God and his Christ in ye all. Let us give the greeting that the angels give to one another. Hail Archangel Michael! Hail Archangel Michael! Hail Archangel Michael! Hail Archangel Michael! Hail, Archangel Michael.